Hello and welcome to Today on the Green. We're your hosts, I'm Bridget and that's Azure. You know, I don't know, it just right now the vibes, they just feel so positive, yeah. so fun. It's a light. I, I don't know why, it just does, you know? Yeah, I guess it's because the winter dance show was last night. Oh yeah, yeah. so much fun. And uh -huh. you know, they did a little shake, a little jump, a little jig, as, yes. as they say. You know? Very wintry. Speaking of winter, we sent Nora out at lunch to interview people on summer. Hi, I'm Nora, and today I'm going to ask people about their summer plans, because even though it's Christmas in California, summer never ends. What are your plans for summer break? I want to go to Miami to, to watch Messi play. Getting away from you guys. I'm doing summer school and then uh, I'm going to go to Girl Scout camp. <laughs> I'm going to Europe. Um, go to the beach a lot. Sleepy and I'm playing Roblox. I think I'm going to Hawaii. Oh, really? I'm also going to Yosemite. Very cool. Uh, probably just do nothing, just relax. I'm going to work a lot. I wish I could just relax, but I'm probably going to do some volunteering and maybe some like AP work. So not too much fun, but um, at least I'm not like at school. So that's pretty, pretty much a win to me. Thank you. Thanks, Nora. You know, winter does not exist here. It's always hot. It's always warm. Yep. Could be that it's just California or global warming. Hmm. Those harmful emissions. So much warm, you know, lots of global warming things. Very controversial. Speaking of controversies, we have Alyssa to tell us about cancel culture. Social media and the internet has brought many stars to fame, but along with that, it has made many celebrities lose their jobs. There's no end to the list of celebrities who have been highly criticized for what they have said or done. But one person that has been recently fired was from arguably one of the biggest franchises was Melissa Barrera. She acted in the 2022 Scream as Samantha Carpenter, along with Jenna Ortega as her on-screen sister. It was recently announced that Barrera will not be returning to her role in the 2023 Scream. Melissa Barrera was fired for a post that she made about the Palestine and Israel conflict. I have been actively looking for videos and information about the Palestine side for the past two weeks or so, following accounts, etc. Why? Because the Western media only shows the other side. Why they do that? I will let you deduce that for yourself. Barrera said. Shortly after this post, she was officially fired from the Scream franchise. Soon after, she made a comment defending herself. As a Latina, a proud Mexican, I feel the responsibility of having a platform that allows me the privilege of being heard, and therefore I have tried to use it to raise awareness about issues I care about and to lend my voice to those in need. Barrera's statement continued. Every person on this earth, regardless of religion, race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, or socioeconomic status deserves equal human rights, dignity, and of course, freedom. Shortly after Melissa was fired, Jenna Ortega announced that she will not be in Scream 7 either. It was said that she had conflicting issues with filming season 2 of Wednesday. They think that this is just a cover story and that she quit out of solidarity for Melissa Barrera. Let's see what other people think about cancel culture. So what do you guys think about cancel culture? Um, I think that it happens so fast that sometimes you don't really get to process what they, what a celebrity did, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy how people go from famous to, like, com completely canceled so fast. It's just cr crazy, I think. Even for things that happened, like, so long ago and then they, like, come back up again? Mm hmm Yeah. And what do you guys think about Melissa Burra getting fired from Scream? I mean... I, I read what she wrote, and I think that she just, she doesn't have a publicist, and you can tell, because um, the studios have a clear line of what's anti-Semitism and what's not, and she crossed that line, so I, I think it's fair. I mean, if it's in her contract, like, don't say offensive stuff, then, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about Rachel Ziegler in the whole Snow White red carpet? <laughs> she needs more PR training. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but she made a like a comeback with the Hunger Games movie. Oh, yeah, so that good. is true. Yeah, so good. Yeah, she she sings pretty well, and in the oh, West Side yeah. Story movie, yeah. she she yeah. did pretty good. Yeah, you know who else I'm thinking about now that uh, sings the ukulele apology? 
<laughs> she got canceled really <laughs> fast for that. Yeah. Miranda? Yeah. Whatever. Oh. From Miranda Sings? Yeah. What's her yes, actual yes. name? I can't, I can't remember. remember. Yeah. yeah, that was that a big was crazy. Yeah. thing. Recently. I think that's the fastest someone's been canceled. Probably, yeah. Because yeah. she was canceled, and then when she did the ukulele, she got, like, re-canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She got, like, buried. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Another example of actors suffering from what they said would be Rachel Zegler. Rachel Zegler was set to star in the upcoming live-action Snow White. Ever since she was cast, she had people criticize her ethnicity because it did not match the original story. And people continued to single her out due to some of the things she said on red carpet interviews. The original cartoon was made in 1937, and very evidently so. There's a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. Weird. Zegler said, I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and never picked it up again. Because of what she said, people began to make fun of her, saying that she is going to ruin the movie and question why she even signed up for the role. These responses made the production team for the new Snow White push back the movie from 2024 to 2025. It was also rumored that Rachel Ziegler was also dropped from Paddington 3 because of the controversy surrounding her. They said it was because of the SAG after strike for the actors, but it didn't make a lot of sense to people because it didn't affect other actors on their projects. Story like these bring up the big question of, is cancel culture bad or not? Back to the studio. Thanks, Alyssa, Azure. What would you do if you got canceled? I think I would cry. Yeah, me too. You know what my advice is? Deny, deny, deny. No, that, oh, no, don't. Yeah, do yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. That's not. That's not good. Just take accountability. Be probably. mature. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's good to be yeah. mature. Makes you a good person. Yeah. And that concludes this episode of Today on the Green. Come back tomorrow to see what happens today on the Green. Tomorrow. tomorrow.